Hi there, it's Saturday 24th of April 2021. We are focusing this month on Jesus, the resurrected Christ, and John's three visions of him in the book of Revelation. In particular this week we've been looking at Revelation 5, Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And we've been seeing that to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be praise and honour and glory and power forever and ever. Praise is the eulogia, it is the speaking well of Jesus, which we will do forever and ever. Honour is the teme, it is the value or the worth, the esteem in which we hold Jesus. Glory is the doxa, it is the intrinsic worth from within that shines and radiates out. And of course, Jesus has the greatest intrinsic worth and therefore the greatest glory. And power is the kratos, the might, the strength, the strength to overcome sin and death and hell, the strength to follow the true path, which Jesus has always done. And we give him power and praise and honour and glory for that. And finally, forever. It is forever and ever we are going to do this. It's not just here on earth, but while we are in eternity for all ages. And that's what the word forever means. It is the Greek word Aeonas, which means ages. Literally, it's to the ages of the ages we are going to do this. An age or a cycle of time characterised by particular qualities. For example, the digital age, that's the age that we live in just now, where we have calculators. It's uh, the digital age and we can do all calculations on our digital calculators. Of course, my mum's age, that was the age of the, of the slate and the chalk and the abacus and they used to just count with stones back in those days, I think, in, in, in her school days. <laughs> Sorry, mum. <laughs> but we live in the digital age. It's, it's a particular age characterised by particular things. And what about this age in which John sees? Well, it is the age of the Lamb that he is seeing. This age that Jesus has died and has risen is the age of Jesus, the Lamb of God. It is the age of praise and honour and glory and power being given to him forever and ever and ever. And it is going to be the eternal age of the Lamb. When we are in heaven praising him with all of the angels, we are going to do that forever. The age of the Lamb will never, ever end. Because his triumph at Calvary is eternal. His blood avails forever. His blood atones for our sins forever. There is going to be praise and worship go up to Jesus forever. We will speak well of Jesus forever. We will honour Jesus forever. We will bask in his glory forever. We will see his power forever. It will never end. Why should it end? Because what he has done will last forever. His victory at Calvary will last forever. And if you're a Christian, if you believe in Jesus, if you have received that forgiveness for your sins, then you will enjoy that forgiveness forever. And you will praise the Lamb forever and ever and ever, for age upon age, to him be the praise and the honour and the glory and the power forever. Amen.